So modularity is finally getting some work done in the form of the Retaliator base, along with the modules that were sold with this ship. So in my head, this opens up a massive discussion, and not just here, this will soon be a topic on the upcoming podcast. So why is it that I picked this topic in particular, even though, you know, it's something that's being worked on right now? Well, you see, there is a ship near and dear to my heart that I want to know about. And you all know what the ship is, and that is the Carrick. Now I love this ship no matter what. This ship is my home regardless. And honestly, I don't care what people's opinions on it are. It just hits all the right spots along with the future updates. And we know this ship will be a modular along with many other ships. So it begs the question that, you know, the Carrick being an exploration vehicle and heavily consisting of cargo, we know that currently is an absolute pain to load cargo into with the doors opening and closing all the time, not being able to have a way to hold them open and the only place really is to be able to get it through those doors. It's kind of difficult. Now, at the moment, it kind of shines in cargo trading because you, you know, it's so difficult to load cargo into it. So, you know, being that it's cargo trading, it's more or less just loaded straight into the ship, into the hull. And to be honest, we had a cargo Q&A coming up and this was a question that I really wanted to be, have answered and I was trying to push it. But the SCL was cancelled to a later date. And honestly, you know, it hasn't bothered me that, you know, it can't do what I want it to do now until this point. Since, you know, a lot of the cargo is now, as you know, hand loaded, which puts a spanner in the works. Because with the Carrick, you can't load big crates, being the modules aren't big, like big enough to hold big crates. And it would definitely make a difference if the, you know, the three cargo spaces had a way of opening or something like the Caterpillar and giving you access to both sides, it would just make life easy. Maybe even having a ramp access or making that a module option later on. But in reality, I'm here to talk about modularity as a whole and how this will change the verse forever in a good way and just give people options with a lot of ships that they own and whether or not they want to swap modules out. Um, you know, a big one about modularity is the Endeavor. I'm not saying there's any chance in hell we will see that ship in the near future at all, but it's a step closer for CIG to start understanding and even start discussing options for a lot of these modular ships and where they could really go with it or what could be done with it. Because honestly, for instance, the Galaxy could be a great contender since RSI is the manufacturer to be complete soon. And this could fast track the Galaxy in a big way. Ships like the Starliner, the Carrick, the Javelin, and the Redeemer are supposed to be modular. I don't know if a lot of people knew that the Redeemer was supposed to be modular as of the $65 million mark, as possible calling it a stasis chamber module for when bounty hunting. So even though the ships, you know, are limited and we don't have many options for modular ships right now, this could potentially change that for a lot of ships. You know ships that we love, ships that could come in the future. So not only is it a big step, it's a big deal to a lot of people. So if you have a modular ship, hopefully the not so distant future, we actually start getting some feedback, maybe even a plan for other ships in this regard. I would like it to be early this year or even CitizenCon. But until we see the Retaliator base, I think this will be something worth following as long as it actively gets worked on because it will create interest among the community even though the modules for the Retaliator haven't been available for some time, hopefully they have plans for some new modules on that and resell the original modules. It'll be interesting to see what people do with this ship. You know, even though the modules aren't really that special, being that, you know, you have a front and rear cargo module, front and rear living quarters, and a dropship module for the front. So maybe even being an effective ship for ground combat or even just bunker missions. I think it would be a nice dropship for when doing raids on distribution centers. It will be an interesting ship and an interesting way to see everything for like in, for definite. I can't wait to see this ship and what they're going to have like planned for it. It doesn't just come down to the rooms, it comes down to the parts, just like the Starfarer, the Apollo series, and it's bad being able to be changed out to different tiers from tier 1 to tier 2 to tier 3 as compared to other ships and like beds having different capabilities. All I'm saying is imagine the possibilities 
I sure would like to see movement on the endeavor and I feel like this will be the way forward. Now, being as that it has not been, you know, it's not really something they've been talking about lately and hopefully it is something that they will do um, a Star Citizen episode on or a Star Citizen live episode. I just hope it gets the CIG team talking about it and potential future plans for modules because as we know, when capital ships get damaged, they will go to a shipyard to be repaired. Now, this is some really old news from CIG and it can always change. So it would be effectively the same with ships and their modules. It may take, you know, anything or anywhere from days, weeks, months, whatever it is will make people think a little bit more effectively and most definitely be interesting to see how it works with the Retaliator. It may even also have an impact on what ships people will buy in the future being that a lot of people may see deal for their money depending on the price and depending on the ship. But with that discussion, let us know down in the comments what you think of this. I definitely think modularity is going to be a great thing. I'm looking forward to it in a big way. Um, honestly, like 2024 is the year for Star Citizen. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I'll leave you with this and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.